Hi everyone. So I thought um, I see a problem and um, I wanted to um, create a new video to um, put some um, details and explanations. Um, Eclipse is a tool, it's an IDE that we use to um, develop. Um, it's very popular and it uh, is used for so many different programming language languages. So um, we use it for the class and um, definitely the better um, knowledge you have at this point, the better you will um, continue with your uh, requirement and development for this class. So let's start. Eclipse is a tool, again, you can install um, and it comes from, um, uh, it comes with Java already built in it. It gets installed during the installation of Eclipse. So once you have it running, you can go down here. Um, I have it saved uh, shortcut. So first thing about Eclipse, it's a little different um, uh, program because it um, requires you to specify a workspace. And what is a workspace is um, it's a, a folder somewhere in your hard drive that is the root or the container for all your other um, programs that you're gonna develop if you want, if you select. So one way you can create a workspace and then put all your programming projects over and under it uh, for Java, for example. If you do other languages, you can create multiple workspaces. Each workspace can create, uh, can contain different work uh, projects for you with for each language. So if you use C++, if you use Java, if you have Python, and so on. In our class, we're going to create one workspace wherever you decide um, I, and it's, in my case, I selected my D, which I use it for data stuff for all my files. And I created a special folder. I called it um, Eclipse Workspace. Now you can check this here. So automatically, Eclipse will start all the time, every time, using that workspace. And it's not always good because now you have to go back and disable it so you can select what workspace that you want to use. In my case, I do that. But if you planning to use it only for this part, for um, for this class, for Java, and, you know, maybe it's okay so you don't see it again. But now you can click on launch. When you launch Eclipse, it will show whatever you had if you did use that workspace before. In this case, I have two projects in here. Each project are a separate folder container that includes everything under it, as you see here. And I have another for a project with its own stuff. And if you see here, I have um, created a Java, basically project, and a C++, um, let me see, a C project. So it doesn't matter. Workspace will contain whatever projects that you're trying to work with. So let's start from scratch and say, okay, first time I started Eclipse, I want to create a new project. So what do we do? Let's right click here on that space here. Okay. Or you can do new from here. But I like you know, let's stay con consistent and let's do right click. You get that sub menu and let's say new. And in this case, you might or might not see Java project. If you used it before, you will see it here, but you could always say project and then look for the type of project that we're going to use. In this case, it is Java. You're going to click on Java project. Okay. Now it's the same thing exactly. If you go here, right click and say new Java project, it will save you maybe a couple clicks. 
but if it's the first time, you're going to have to specify that. Good. I say next. Now you're going to type a project num and a project name. So let's say I'm going to type Java test 001. So I decided my first project will be Java test 001. I like to do that because I can create multiple projects of the same type if I need to do few tests. Um, if I'm doing, let's say, serial port um, project, maybe I, can, I might need to do multiple of these until I come to the final one. So yeah, I, I like to use Java test 001 as my first test. Okay. Um, you can use a default location, which by default, it will put it and save the files under the workspace, as you see here. And then it will create a new folder with the same name you choose here. Okay. Obviously, we're going to use Java runtime environment. Or um, you can, it depends on what you have. Uh, Java, Java GDK, but use ex, uh, an execution environment for Java runtime environment. Okay, and it specifies it. Okay. Um, I would use um, that, or you can use the JDK, whatever I have here. Um, but I would stay with that. There is no problem for what we need. Um, project layout, create separate folder for resources. Um, I think that's part of your confusion too. So um, you could have one folder that creates all the files. You will have every file in one folder. Okay, or you can create a separate folders for each type of files. In this case, if you see here, oh, I can't show you this now. I will show you this in a minute. So if your source files can be saved in source files and all the other helper files will be saved in their own type of files in a folder that with that name. So that's fine. I'm going to show you exactly what this means now. If you already want to add this project to another work set, to another project or something, you can use that, but we don't want to do that for our class for this level. Let's click on Next. And now you can see here, that's the project name that I selected. And you're going to have source, which is the source file, the Java files that you will develop or create, right? And here I tell you what we're going to do basically when I say finish. Um, okay, so here I don't need this and I don't need that. Um, it's not just additional folders. I don't need them and um, we're not using the module info for now. Maybe we can use it later, but definitely we'll talk about it later. Okay, and this is the output binary folder then um, when we compile the whole project, we can use that folder. Okay, so very simple. Let's click on finish. And now, like I said before, um, here is the libraries that your project is linked to. We mentioned that during the um, uh, first option, which library we want to build to. And here's your source. So right now, your project has a source file source folder and you can add a new class. Now we didn't work on classes yet but in the few, in the next few classes we will talk about the class which is it's a it's a very unique entity that contains a set of um, parameters and uh, methods and uh, variables and all these flavors, um, fun stuff we will talk about later, and it will keep it under a class name, some kind of container we can look at it. Okay, now for us to create anything in Java, we have to have a, at least one class, and this is the class I'm going to use. So that's the project name with the source folder. Again, we're going to create a new source file 
with the extension type Java. That's the type of file that we create to put the code in it. I don't know if we need package right now, but don't worry about the package. We'll use the default for now. Uh, it's something we're going to deal with later. It's, again, it's more of um, organizing to your code and your project. Now, this is the important part. We want to create a name for that class. The class, let's say, uh, my test. Okay. Um, okay, so I wanted to do stuff like this or this. Now, okay, so I'm going to create my test. I'm going to create my test class. I'm, um, I'm going to keep it public. That's the original class. It doesn't make sense. I do anything else. Let's use everything as it is. And um, let's create automatically for us the public static void main because it's okay, save you a little bit of work. Um, once we start working with classes, I encourage you to use that constructors. And um, probably inherit abstract methods, which is okay, we'll talk about this later. Also click on generate comments. It's going to make it nice, look very useful. And I encourage you also to always put comments as much as you can. That's really important for yourself when you come back to it later in a week or two, or if you're working with someone else and you're sharing the code. Good, so let's finish. Once you do that, you have created your first class in Eclipse under your project. And as you can see, the default package is just a default name. It's called default package. And um, here is my class, my um, file, my underscore test dot Java. This is the source file that we created that contains our class, which is my test. Now you see it automatically added some comments here, nice comments, and nice comment before the main uh, method. And another comment to tell you this is where you want to um, generate um, um, or add methods and stuff in here. Okay, so class has a, is a container, it's a big container that contains everything inside that file should and um, inside that class you can have more stuff in it that can go over here you can have some methods that belong to the class and or you could have that main method that you have to have for your java program to be executed this is the main entry for the operator system to, to start executing. Okay, so Eclipse is really, really helpful. It uh, has the sensitive um, uh, auto-complete. So once you start typing like system dot, it gives you all the options that you will need or you can use. So let's do just a quick welcome message um, like we're used to. Um, I'm gonna say out dot print and you can see all the options. I'm gonna say print line, okay? And because I just did print line, it gives you all the options. You can either have it only by itself, so just gonna print a space line for you, or you can pass an input to that print line fun uh, method with one of these uh, types. Okay, so I'm going to use a string because this is the type that we use to print a message on the screen. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say testing Eclipse project and class creation. 
Okay, message that should be displayed. Notice that there is an error here, this underline red mark. It's because we're missing the semicolon at the end. Good. This here should be um, a very simple program. I like to put some more details here, like Hisham, my last name, your maybe um, more information about date. And let's say um, November 1st, 2021. Stuff like that. I would also encourage you to put a description because um, you come back two, three weeks, a month later, you know, it's nice to have all these comments in your program. And let's say um, a new class to show how to use Eclipse IDE. Just a quick. All right, what else we need? Um, Let's get you used to adding comments. In this case, the only thing I'm doing with this project is basically print um, a message to show that um, the program actually works. That's what I, I'm thinking now. Okay, so this message, when I execute this project, here it should be executed and um, you can see it, you know your program is working. Otherwise, you don't want to go any further, right? So you can save, control S, um, and right click and say, where is it? Run as. The first time you have to select how you want to run this project. Okay, so run as, and I'm going to say, run as Java application, right? And now it's going to see some compilation quick. And right away, you're going to see Testing Eclipse Project and Class Creation. Done. It's working. So from now, if we do this every time we have a new project, we start from something we know it's working. Nothing big deal, nothing very um, special about it. It's just you need to follow these steps. Now, here is one thing. If you start creating packages, and we didn't talk about packages, and you start moving files around, um, that's going to give you a problem. Let me add this part so I can show you. This, um, good, good. So let's add this part now. Let's talk about creating another class by adding um, a package to it. Now, for now, let's look at package as a more way to organize your um, source files and classes to select which one work with which and you group them in different ways. Okay, so I'm going to right click. This is our project, by the way, test uh, Java test 001, right? And it has one source file under the default package. If I go on, on source and right click and say new class, as you see here, there is nothing again, and it says default. But let me um, say package, my package. It's a very bad naming, I know, but because we really don't have a topic or a focus for this project. I, I completely encourage you and um, support that later when you have a project, let's say a bank uh, a machine, ATM machine, or um, some kind of task that we're working on. So I encourage that you name accordingly so it makes sense better. But I agree that's not the best name but that's just for the test. If I say my package, and I'm going to create uh, my test 
two. You see now I can create multiple um, test fi um, classes, files, and so on. When I don't really have um, a meaningful project that I'm trying to do. This is only test, right? Okay, I'm going to create that. And notice it's going to be under my package for, for a package name. Okay, so I do want to add public static void and the generate comments because I'm going to treat them a little different. I want you to see them as a two different project, but you can do that too. Okay, let's click on finish. The first thing you'll notice, it was created in a whole different package. You see that, okay? Um, I have my main, and what I'm gonna do is create the same thing here so you know when it runs, okay? And I'm gonna say something different. I'm gonna test Eclipse project with uh, Package. There's packages. Okay. Good. We're good. If I click on this and just run it as a Java application, okay, and it's going to say which Java because this time it's this guy here, right? And it should run and say test Eclipse project with packages. Where did I get the end from? <laughs> Okay, let's run it again. We know it's working. Okay, packages, you see that. Good. Now, what is different is if I go and find this file, look what I just did. Okay, let me do this again because that was one of the concerns and question. I need to take this file. I don't know what it is. I want to send it to someone or submit it in the homework. Right click on it, click on property, and you see that here. This is where the file is saved in your computer. You can also click here and it will open the explorer so you can find the file. Okay, let's look at source. You see that is source, which is here. And if you look at the structure of the project, you notice that the default package is really nothing. So this mytest.java, mytest.java is stored under source directly. We didn't specify a package, we didn't want it separate. However, when I decided to create my test2.java, I specified a package. So the first thing you would notice is we created a subfolder, which is my package, right? My package, my package. And inside there is my test underscore two dot Java. So that's why. Now, if you take this file and move it into source manually, everything is gonna go crazy. It's not going to work. And here is why. What's the difference in the actual code? Test, my test.java does not have any specific package. It doesn't mention, oh, this code is under this package or this class is under this package. However, my test2.java includes a package name and this not only organizes and puts some access permissions to that class with respect to the other classes, but it also puts it physically on a, in a separate folder. So two things, you cannot move this file out of the right folder, or you cannot delete this package there. Okay, it messes up the whole organization structure of this Eclipse program. Okay, I think that's good for today. And uh, I hope I'm going to continue on that to support all the new questions and concerns.
Thank you very much.